Hello and welcome to this NCTTA produced echo bit video. This video will provide a really quick description about how best to duplicate and carry forward intervention plans from 2017-18 into 2018-19. So I will, um, I'm in echo right now and in the echo training NCTTA organization account and clicking on plan and report. So this is the same process that your agency will follow to copy your intervention plans. Come down to create, edit, intervention profile. As soon as we click on save profile label, um, we will be given the opportunity to scroll down and review parts A, B, C, um, D, and E. At this point, uh, we, we need to concentrate on parts A, B, and C. So a um, bunch of the information is carried forward from the prior year, but we do want to confirm and, and, and double check for accuracy and um, to make sure the information is up to date. So for example, there's and in this particular profile, we have a, um, an issue to correct, which is select funding source. Um, and I'm able to, since this is life skills, let's say that it was funded by the state block grant because it was. And we click on save. If at any time you try to change a, um, a box to provide an update and you see the little um, no sign there in red, make sure to click edit and that will allow you to change the, um, um, the entries in this particular section. So let's go down to B, classify the work or classify the intervention. And again, um, we can click on edit and be able to make changes to the um, uh, requested information. Um, a really important note under number two, approved state priority, we will be providing um, additional information during the upcoming LME provider um, sessions in August about the state priorities and providing more description and, and, and detail. So in the meantime, I may choose um, I may choose one B for example, and this may just be a, a, a random selection for training purposes. Number three. Um, Intervention type is prevention education. If it was some other type of strategy, I would have those indicators or I would have those options. Uh, number four, IOM category and service type. Also keep in mind um, information related to number three, four, and five can be found on the master grid and you can match up the um, the columns and, and carry forward the information from the master grid um, in, into ECHO. Once complete, I can hit save. We will be providing additional information about the approved state priority item in the future training. So let's move down to Part C, store critical information. And under Part C, we do have a small um, a new icon addition to many parts of ECHO. If you click on the I, it indicates to click to view info. And we can click, and many times you, you will see a small um, imp box or explanation box in blue. Uh, unfortunately, this particular box is uh, referring more to intervention profiles that's being set up uh, to support environmental um, interventions. But it's a really good example of the types of items that can be uploaded as supporting documentation. Since this profile is a, um, a youth education related profile, example, um, critical, critical documents, supporting documents, could be emails or letters of approval for your curriculum, uh, training certificates, developer training certificates, um, and, and so on. We will again provide um, a bit more information about um, best practice documents 
that can be uploaded um, during the August session. But in the meantime, um, uh, upload training documents, um, certificates, other sources of verification and materials that um, indicate readiness to implement the um, YPE program. Finally, uh, we, we have two um, newer sections of ECHO that Part D that has not been used very much but has been under heavy edit and Part E which is um, brand new. Part D is um, your planned intervention scope and ask um, particular questions related to um, um, the, the outreach and type of population um, you will be um, touching. In this case, um, the Plan D, Plan Intervention Scope questions are um, actually a little bit different based on the intervention profile. But never fear, uh, before we really talk about all those different profiles and, and the questions you may be asked under Part D, Plan Intervention Scope, we want to provide um, detailed um, information and training again during the August session. So based on the um, 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 future training and, and um, material distribution about Part D, there's nothing we have to do with Part D at this time. Uh, as soon as we complete the training in August, we will um, ask everyone to complete Part D. And in addition, uh, the same request is being made for Part E. Uh, Part E should look very, very similar to your action plans. Uh, we're asking, um, we're asking um, programs not to complete Part E yet until after the August trainings. So in the meantime, the most important things we can do is make sure that your intervention profile label is correct, that it's been replicated and, and carried forward into the new year, and that we complete Part A, B, and C. And as always, if you have questions or, or need help, please contact the um, TTA Help Desk for ECHO. The phone number and email address will be provided um, on the screen at the very end of this email. And we hope you enjoyed this really short and first edition of the um, ECHO Bit Help videos.